going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid, and uh, this video is kind of revisiting a base that's been on the channel a few times, but I'm I can't really remember if I actually did a hey, this is the finished product of this base build that I did. So uh, here it is. This is an Alan Eden Disciple Five uh, base. Okay, really, really pretty exactly how it was when I first got it. It was really dope. Uh, I just kind of wanted to take it and make it better if I could. So uh, two of the upgrades that I did was I took the uh, DiMarzio pickups out of the uh, Charvel base that I have and replaced all those with EMG pickups. And I had these pickups, which actually sound really good. I just had them available. And uh, with a little bit of body modifying, I was able to make them fit in this base. Uh, second thing that I did was add an R Dare preamp. The preamp that originally came with the bass was a two band preamp, and it was good for what it was. I just kind of wanted a little bit more tonal flexibility, so I went and uh, hit up R Dare, my normal go to for my uh, preamps and stuff, and they uh, was able to send out this idea. So this is basically what it ended up uh, working out to. So it is a four band EQ with a tone on it as well. So uh, you have a volume, a blend between both pickups, high mid, low mid, treble, bass, and a overall tone uh, for the whole thing. So it makes uh, getting that sound together very quick if you're just messing with the tone thing or you just want it just a little bit spicier, you can turn up the tone and stuff like that. It works out really, really well. Uh, have it on a maple neck. Uh, the actual uh, neck of it is, is maple on front and back. And it's a, kind of a satiny neck. It's not as thin as a jazz bass would normally be. It's a little bit chunkier, which works for me because I actually like how that feels. And uh, this was built to be my I don't really care that much. I can go take it to a gig and not worry about if something happens to it type bass. But after I've done all the modifications, I'm kind of like, I want to keep it as pretty as possible. You know, so it's kind of just been I pulled it out for a few church gigs here and there uh, whenever the outfit that I'm wearing allows. <laughs> That's kind of what I do now. I just coordinate the bases based on what I'm wearing. Whatever. So <laughs> I've used it at a few church gigs and the strings on it should be relatively new. Uh, these are MJC Ironworks strings. Um, not sure if you can still get them at this moment, but that's what the strings that are on this bass are right now. Uh, probably be, I might take this bass to uh, Tulsa for a gig that I have coming up, and the gig vlog will be coming out about that trip in a little bit. I uh, originally was going to take a close bass with me on that trip, but uh, it's not my bass, and I don't want anything bad to happen to somebody else's bass. So I figured I'd take my own and just kind of baby it, as it were. So anyway, this is uh, kind of a, a sound demo of what this bass actually ended up sounding like. If I already haven't put one out there, and I don't think I have. So without further ado, or further to do, let's get into what this bass actually sounds like. All right, so I have everything uh, suited up, everything tuned up. I have the tone all the way off. Everything is completely flat. Uh, between both pickups, this is kind of what we have. Alrighty then, so I have the tone all the way off at the present moment. The master tone is all the way off. Uh, everything is completely flat. High, mid, low, mid, treble, and bass. Everything is flat. Center detent uh, between both pickups. And uh, this is what we got. This is with tone all the way on. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, let's go ahead and take the tone all the way out of it again. And uh, let's boost up treble and bass. Let's go for more of a slap scoop tone. So we'll also take out high mid. Right? And uh, this finger style, then I switch to slap. Let's uh, move the tone all the way up again. I'm doing extreme so you get the dynamic range of what this thing can do. Again, we are scooped with high mid out. Uh, the low mid is still center detent. Treble is boosted, bass is boosted all the way. turn down the volume because it came on very crispy um so now i'll uh leave the tone where it is i'll swap the high mid and low mid position so uh i'll take the high mid down to uh or up to center detent and then take the low mid all the way out just want to confirm yep 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 okay both pickups here we go Now let's go low mid all the way out, high mid all the way out, super scoop, tone is up, and uh, both pickups. So yeah, uh, let's take everything back to the center. Uh, let's take the tone all the way out and let's solo a pickup. Let's go to the back pickup, the bridge pickup. And uh, let's confirm, yep, yep, tone all the way out. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, tone all the way in. Let's go to the front pickup now. both pickups and uh let's kind of get like a little groove situation popping off uh let's boost bass a little bit maybe 70 percent or so uh let's leave treble where it is let's boost low mid a little bit and then take out high mid and uh i think this will probably be my going groove tone with the tone all the way out around with doing a little you know the double plucking and the cording and see how that goes it's an experiment it's a work in progress anyway um yeah so this is this 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 is the Alan Eden final stage uh I'm strongly considering either taking this one or my Charvel which is in my gig cake because I played it last Sunday did really well uh less controls uh, but this bass with new strings could definitely be an option, me taking it to Tulsa this weekend. So I may uh, make another video comparing the two and then in the comments let y'all decide which one I take. Um, but yeah, this, yeah, as far as gigging basses goes, 
this will definitely be in the mix. Especially, uh, I have my studio bases, which I keep here and take out to gig or take out to studios around H-Town. But this is a this is a thing. So I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all checking out this video. Uh, let me know about the grooves, man. Do timestamps. Let me know when you was feeling the groove, if you wasn't feeling the groove, what I should have did. All that good stuff. I like talking to y'all. So I uh, appreciate y'all talking back to me. Makes this thing fun. Until next time, I've been Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid. I'll be easy.